Today, I'm going to show you tips, tricks, and different ways to create your book cover in Canva. For those of you that are not familiar with Canva, it's a web-based graphic editor. If you're not using a graphic designer every day and you don't want to pay hundreds of dollars for a software, Canva could be a great alternative to applications like Photoshop or Illustrator. I love Photoshop. It's really flexible and easy to use once you get used to it. But there are a couple of things that I know that if you're not using the graphic editor every day, it would be a problem. First of all, it's really pricey. Right now it's around $240 per year, or if you choose to pay monthly, it's around $31 per month. Whereas you can use Canva for free or pay for a premium version, which is around $120 per year or $13 per month. The second benefit is that, as I said, Canva is a web-based software. So you can use it from any device that has access to a web browser, which is pretty much all devices. There are lots of reasons why I would recommend opting for a pro version, but for what we are going to do today, the free version has everything we need. So to prove you don't need a pro version to do this, I'm going to use the free version. Okay, let's just start actually creating our cover. If you've not been here before, my name is Anna and I'm here to help you create high quality, low content KDP books in the simplest way. Before we start, do me a favor and hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you very much. So the first thing we have to figure out is the size. So for our guide, I'm going to use Amazon's file setup access sheet. And don't worry, you don't have to search for that on Google. Just check out the description section. Everything I'm mentioning today will be down in the description. So open your file and enter your details. We are going to make a 6x9 cover with 100 pages. As you can see, our cover size is 12.48 by 9.25 inch. And now that we are here, I also want to draw your attention to a couple of things. So as you can see in this corner, the bleed on all four edges will be 0.25 inch and half of that will be cut after trim and the spine width is 0.23 inch. Now that we have all sizes, let's go to Canva and create our file. Now on top right hand, click on create design, click on custom design, enter your sizes and click on create new design. Now we are going to create some guides for ourselves just to make sure the title is in the center and everything is in place. So you remember the bleed was 0.25 and half of that will be cut off after trim. So I'm going to create a 9.25 by 1.25 rectangle since our height is 9.25 and half of our bleed is 1.25 each. And I also need a 9.25 by 0.23 rectangle for our spine. To create the rectangles, I'm going to first place a guide on 0.125 and another one on 0.23, like this. If you don't have these rulers here, go to File and check off Show Rulers and Show Guides. To make sure I'm on the right number, I'm going to zoom in. Okay, now that we have our guide, now go to Elements and click on a Square and snap it to the edge. Now I'm going to reduce the width as much as it's allowing me and then shrink the whole thing from the corner. You can increase the height afterward like this. Let's place our spine in the middle and now create the blades. Just create the one and copy the second one like this. You can also create two guides for top and bottom if you want to. Okay, now that we have our guides, 
move the two guidelines and snap them to our rectangles. Okay, let me explain what we have here. So these gray parts here will not be a part of our cover and they will be cut it after trimming. This middle part, this spine part, will be a part of your cover but after trim will not be visible when looking at the cover from front or above. So this space between these two guidelines is what you see in Amazon as a cover image and also when you look at the book cover from above. My point is to make sure our cover looks good, we need to place the title in the middle of these two guidelines. Okay, let's get into the work. I'm going to create a handwriting practice workbook like this one. And it will be a bit crowded with lots of elements. The reason why I chose this design is because I wanted to create something a bit more complicated to cover every aspect of creating a cover. Okay, now let's go to background and I'm going to choose a patterned but single color background like this. Okay, now I need a rectangle to write my samples. So go to elements and I'm gonna use a square with rounded corners and let's also resize it to make it a rectangle. I think this looks good. And I'm gonna change the colors for the border to peach and the middle part to white. Okay, now to create this part as our sample, I go to the text and click on the second one and go to fonts and search for dots. And I'm gonna use KG primary dots font. Now I'm gonna write three lines. The first one is just a couple of letters. The second one will be some words. And the last one is just one sentence. And now I want to write these three. So again, go to text, click on the second one and choose any font you like. I'm gonna go with this one. Let's also change the text. So this one is letters. Change the color if you want. I'm gonna go with darker version of our background. Now copy and paste and change it to words. And last one is sentence. Now let's type our title, which is handwriting practice workbook. Let's change the color to white and I'm gonna also change the alignment to center. Now to make it pop and add some action to it, go to effects and let's add a drop shadow. You can also change the color, offset, blurriness, transparency and direction of the shadow here. So for this button part, I know maybe it's not looking very good, but I wanted to show you the effects, so I chose this one. So first we need a circle. So just go to elements and click on circle. And leave it this big at first because it will be easier for the next thing we're going to do. We also need to mention the suitable age for this book and also number of pages. So to keep the same font and color, instead of creating a new text box, I'm gonna copy and paste this one and just change the text and size of it. Now to get this curve, select the text, go to effects and choose curve. And using this, you can change the curviness. Okay, I think this looks good. So our curviness is 81. Copy and paste this, go to effects again, and this time type minus 81 to get the same curviness, but in the opposite direction, and change it to 100 pace. Now, all we need is this thumbs up. Go to elements, and I'm gonna search for thumbs up. Okay, I think this one looks good. And by the way, if you ever liked a design and wanted to see more elements like that, just right click on the elements and click on the see more like this. Okay, now let's resize it. Alright, 
as you can see this is too big for our cover so select all of the items and then on top right hand create a group that will group all of them together so now i can just select the group and resize everything together all right our cover is done the only thing remaining is to download it in proper format so first let's remove our guys and just select and delete all of them and then go to top right hand and click on download and then choose pdf print okay this is how you can create your covers for free in canva and i try to cover as much as i can i hope this was helpful and if you liked it and want to see more videos like this please subscribe thank you all for watching and bye bye